Hello, Pastor Wayne Carpenter with Christian Church for All Nations. I'm the worship director, and this is our morning devotional. This morning, we're going to talk about, once again, the Holy Spirit and the pursuit of the Holy Spirit. We're going to start with Proverbs 3, 6. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Now, I haven't run across the scripture in a long time, and reading it again is like taking a drink from a cool glass of water on a hot day. It really is nice to hear this one. Again, used to be more uh, part of my walk earlier. And as we've been going through the study on the Holy Spirit, we've also discussed that we will have as much of the influence of the power of God in our life as we will acknowledge. Now, I can imagine a situation where someone could pursue the gifts of the Holy Spirit and go down the wrong path. That means pursuing the manifestation of the Spirit and not the person of the Holy Spirit. It's not an intellectual pursuit, but it's a pursuit of a closer relationship that we're looking for. Now, it may mean leaving some other relationships behind. We will find that some of our friends are still pursuing things of this world and may not have our level of interest in the Lord. Along the way, we will also find others who are abandoning this temporal life in order to walk in exousia and dunamis power. Welcome to Holy Spirit Month. Let's pray. I thank you, Father God, that the death and resurrection of your Son Jesus Christ and his ascension in heaven speaks directly to us having a closer relationship with you. Thank you for caring enough about us, Lord, to make that possible. Help us understand the depth and the breadth of what that means to us so that we can then tell the people around us. Because I believe anybody who hears genuinely, Lord, of how much you care for them and how much you care for your creation will turn from where they're at and look towards you. We ask for that grace to be able to do that for others in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, just a reminder to uh, join us next Friday. I'll be wrapping up the series on the Holy Spirit, and I'll lay out for you how I see the Holy Spirit operating in my life, and then hopefully give you a way that you can also see how that's happening in your own life as well. That'll be next Friday when we wrap up Holy Spirit Month. Now, about the pursuit. Is it scriptural? Philippians 4, 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. So here Paul's talking about making a conscious effort to do that. 1 Corinthians 14 1. Pursue love and desire spiritual gifts, but especially that you may prophesy. I like this scripture because it does bring home the point. Paul says to pursue love, but to desire gifts. And there's a wide difference between those two things. Um, pursuit is very much like being in love and being pursued of the other person. And the gifts are spiritual gifts, and it's good to desire those. But the pursuit is of the relationship. In 1 Timothy 6.11, But you, O man of God, flee these things. Now, in the scripture, he's talking about harmful lusts and love of money. But you, O oh man, flee these things and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Those are all elements of who God is. Now in 1 Peter 3.11, it says, Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. This is one reason why I like worship so much. It's the real thing. It's an act where I pursue, that I pursue, and it places God at the center of my desires, 
in my aspirations. Now, while a worship service might only last 30 minutes, it prepares me for everything else that's going to go on that week. To keep the Holy Spirit at the forefront of my conscious efforts to bring the gospel to anyone who will receive it. Now, as we pursue the relationship with the Holy Spirit, it may become clear that it's not so much a lifestyle of obtaining things, but more a lifestyle of loss. In John 12, 25, he who loves his life will lose it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. As we allow the things of this world to drop off of our start again as we allow the things of this world to drop out of our life we find that God was there all the time let's pray I thank you Lord for the richness of your word I thank you Lord that it just pierces right to our heart help us to desire that above all Lord give us the grace to refocus who we are in you and to let some things that are capturing our attention at the moment to put them in second place Lord and put you in first place I ask that you help us with that as we get closer to you it'll become automatic been there and done that I thank you for that Lord it continues to happen in my life but we always need your help by your Holy Spirit to get there I thank you for that in Jesus name Amen well, you're welcome to join us uh, at Christian Church for All Nations. And Sunday we have our service at 11. We're at roughly 12 Mile in Shaner, and we would love to have you. We have room for people who want to serve in the ministry. We have room if you want to come and worship with us. We would love to see you there. And also we have Wednesday night, 6.30 to 7.30, worship and the word as a little recharge in the middle of the week. So thanks for joining today. Don't forget, next Friday we're going to wrap this up. And I'll give you something that you can work with as well. God bless. Have a good weekend.